So if you saw my Ulta haul, then you must know that I recently just purchased the very hyped Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation Full Coverage Formula and it says it lasts up to 24 hours and it's mattifying. It has a second skin effect. I've been using it for about 3-4 days now so this is not just going to be like a demo me showing you how it looks on and swatches. I'm also going to tell you my review for like oily acne pro skin and how it worked and if I recommend it for you. This is in the color Light Beige 010 Light Beige. I'm going to tell you how many colors are in the range, where can you get it. Recently just did a video showing you like my best and worst foundations for oily skin subscriber said have you tried the Catrice foundation and I was like no but it's definitely on my list so I'm so happy that I got to try this for you and let's go ahead and jump right into the video so we look at this beautiful bottle here it's a glass bottle and it's a dropper applicator and this is actually a product made in Italy again it's the Catrice HD liquid coverage foundation it's highly rated at um, Ulta I got it at Ulta you can also get it at the Catrice website so it says it's a lightweight non oily texture that feels like second skin provides a long lasting coverage without mask effect and creates an even complexion with high definition finish for camera ready skin dermatology tested and it says to shake before use so I really love the glass bottle it does not feel cheap whatsoever it's nice and heavy I don't know if it would be like the best for traveling and you do get 1.01 ounces so that's what you usually get on a foundation one ounce and this retails for like $10.99 you look at the Ulta website they they have like maybe 12 shades at the Ulta website but a lot of them are online only if you go to the store you may find maybe like three and I believe this one 010 light beige is like their lighter shade go on the Catrice website I believe they have maybe like 18 shades so you get a little bit more the first thing I'm gonna say about this foundation is that it is scented so if that's something that bothers you it's scented and it actually smells like a baby like baby powder is the best way to describe it um, I don't really like mind the scent so I really like that it's a dropper and I'll just do a swatch there for you so you can see this color exactly what it looks like when I went to the Ulta store they only had like I think three it was this one which is a neutral undertone I'll put all the colors here as well like light medium and deep they have it in the Catrice website so it's really helpful like for you to choose your shade if you're gonna do it like online or if you're gonna go to the store but you're not sure what is like your skin tone very very useful so I want to put that here for you so it can help you out this is the color light beige it is classified as a light neutral I didn't have many options when I went to the store so I'm glad like they had this so I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a brush and with a sponge and I'll tell you which application is better I've only been using it with a sponge because that's what I prefer but I'll let you know for you guys that use a brush how it looks if I think it's gonna go on streak or anything I did moisturize already my Clinique dramatically moisturizing gel because I have oily acne prone skin I do not use the lotion and I use my Tatcha silk canvas primer so that's what I currently have on by the way before I forget after you open it it says that it should last for about 12 months and another thing that I want to say is that like if you look at the bottle to say like oh there's no ingredients in the bottle like there isn't but then if you look at this little sticker here like you have to peel it I'll try to do it by the way I hate these nails I tried the coffin shape and I can't stand it oh my god I can't wait to take it off actually you have to peel it off like this so you could like read the ingredients so I don't like that too much I want the ingredients you look at up in the website or it's there in the bottle but you would have to peel that sticker off so let's just make sure we shake this up really well you could take the dropper I mean it looks really cool if you go ahead and just apply it like that like you know Instagram -y. do the drop for one side so you can see so I'll just apply it like this I actually didn't fill the dropper so let me fill the dropper and it is runny as you can see so it's not like super thick I'm gonna start with the brush so you can see how that applies so 
as you see, the coverage is really nice. Really nice. I won't say it's like the most full coverage foundation that I have ever tried, but it's really, really good. Like I had a problem area here, some here, and it really did conceal it well. Doesn't look streaky. Definitely looks like skin. I'll tell you my full review once I have like the full face on, but it looks really nice. Like it doesn't look cakey whatsoever. And now I'm just gonna take the dropper and apply it on my hand like this and just show you like how runny it is. It's really runny. You could really smell that like powdery scent. I'm just gonna take that on my sponge. This is a real technique sponge and I'm gonna apply this. As you see, it looks very, very matte. I love it for my oily skin. The coverage is good. You can try and like build it a little. Like you see, I have that mark there. Try to blend it. Um, so I'll tell you right now, I do think I get a better coverage with the sponge. That's just my opinion. They both blended really well and easily with the sponge and with the brush. I'm gonna go and do a full face of makeup to show you how it looks and I'm also gonna be inserting some pictures which I took when I was testing it out so you can see it in the daylight how it looks when it's just applied and how it looks like after a bunch of hours like after wearing it for like a full day and you can see how it looks on oily skin I can't really see the difference a lot with my neck so I really like that I'll do my makeup and I shall return okay so I have a full face of makeup as you see the color looks really good, like matching it to my neck. So I will be inserting some pictures of how this looks like in the daytime. Everything blends out so nicely. Coverage is amazing. I highly recommend this and I will tell you why. First of all, it has not broken me out. Like I said, I've used it for a couple of days now, maybe three, four, five days now. And I absolutely love it. Like what I love the most is that it is matte. But if you've seen some of my other foundation reviews, like with some that are extremely matte, like it makes my fine lines here look disgusting. Like it makes you look so much older if it emphasizes like all your fine lines. This one, I feel like it makes it even nicer. I swear, like I look at myself and I feel like this thing gave me like Botox. I'm not exaggerating. I know it sounds crazy, but like I love how, how my forehead looks when I put this foundation. I've never had this like before. I don't know what's in this. Why does it look so like beautiful on the skin? It says that it's lightweight and non-oily and I completely agree. Like the foundation itself is not oily. It really has a matte finish I wouldn't say it lasts up to 24 hours and I wouldn't know you know so I can't say that because I don't ever think I've had a foundation on for that long. It does feel like second skin. Again, it does not feel like, oh my god, I can't wait to take this thing off. Like, it feels amazing. I wouldn't say it's oil controlling. Like, I don't feel like it makes me oily faster, but I wouldn't say it controls my oil either. So it doesn't break me out, but it doesn't control my oil but it doesn't make me oily faster. So I do get super oily. So I'll show you how it looks like in the daylight. They're wearing it for like a couple of hours. And one thing I do have to say is I blot with any foundation like a lot of times during the day. But with some like after you start blotting, you start looking a little, you know, it's different. It just changes the look. This one, like when I blot, it looks again like when I just applied it. I love it. Yeah, like you lose a little bit of coverage, but that's because of so much oil, oil during the day. It changes, you know. I feel like when I blot, like if I just put powder, that's how it looks like to me. I just can't say enough great things and like for the price... I'm so happy that I try this and I think you should too. Try always apply like in a small area because it didn't break me out but it might break you out. We're all very different but I, I'm just saying if you have my same skin type oily acne prone sensitive it did not break me out but remember it does have a scent. It bothers a lot of people like fragrance in their foundation. Look at the close-ups it looks very nice. It looks stunning. By the way, I just did a, I just did a tutorial on this makeup look and on these lashes that I just bought, and I'm obsessed with these lashes. It does not look heavy. As of now, like 
I'll say that it's my favorite drugstore foundation. I'm happy that I was able to get it at Ulta when I went. Like, this thing gets sold out pretty quickly. Like, the shades, because they don't have a lot. And I don't feel like during the day, like, you know how it starts disappearing or it looks patchy? I don't feel like that happens at all. And again, my fine lines. Like, that's the thing that I'm like, oh my god about. Like, I can't believe how beautiful it looks. Do put powder. I do set it. I do it with all my foundations. I think us oily skin girls, we always set our foundation. You want to make sure it stays put. I will leave the playlist of my best and worst foundations and also the separate reviews of all the foundations that I've done. I have so many oil free. Most of them are full coverage if that's what you love. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. Click the little notification bell and that way you will be the first to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.